Illustrator is great for creating vector art. You've built up your shapes, you've added your colors, you set your stroke width, and you even added some patterns. Now you're ready to resize your art with the transform tools, but all of a sudden you lose all of your settings. The stroke doesn't look the same anymore, and the patterns don't look the same size anymore. But no need to panic. There is a way in Illustrator to make sure everything resizes the same way. Hi, I'm Simona from Vector Twist, and today I would like to show you how to resize and transform your art in Illustrator the right way. So here in Illustrator, I've created a design of an ampersand. As you can see, I have tons of shapes with strokes and fill and even patterns. Now I would like to create multiple copies of my artwork. The easiest to transform all of your artwork is to select everything simply by creating a rectangle with the cursor to select everything and then press E on the keyboard to bring up the free transform tool. Now you can grab any kind of corner, press and hold the shift key to proportion it, shrink it or, or scale it up. But watch what happens if I shrink it down. All of a sudden the stroke width stayed the same, it wasn't resized proportionally and the same happened to the pattern as well. The pattern wasn't resized either and I'm losing all of my settings. So let's fix this. First, we're going to select everything. Then we're going over to the scale tool. We'll double click it. And then in the pop-up, we have several options to choose from. As you can see here, we can check scale corners, scale stroke in effects, and transform patterns. Now let's select all of them. And after that, we're going to press OK. Now if I use the free transform tool again and shrink down my design, you can see that I proportionally resize the stroke and the pattern as well. Visually, it looks screwed up here, but when I zoom in, I can see that my pattern size has been scaled proportionally. And all we did was double click the scale tool and made sure we checked scale corners, scale stroke and effect, and transform patterns as well. Now, once you do that, these settings will stay the same. That means from now on, anything you scale will also scale the stroke and your patterns. If you want to set it permanently, you can do this as well. When you go to Illustrator, Preferences, and General, you can see on the right side here, you can also check Transform Pattern Tiles, Scale Corners, and Scale Stroke and Effects. Once you check it here, no matter what document you open, it will always scale everything proportionally together. So if you know for sure everything needs to be scaled up or down proportionately, you want to set it permanently under Illustrator, Preferences, and then you would check the three options here. And this is it. This was a quick tip on how to scale your artwork proportionally with the transform tools here in Illustrator CC. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And go over to VectorTwist.com for more tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.